G'day guys, how you doing? And I've got another beautiful night. Uh, I've been pretty lucky um, over the past week. So uh, yeah, I've got absolutely beautiful conditions tonight. It's really still, no wind about. And as you can see, beautifully clear. Uh, but it's starting to get a little bit cold. Um, since the last time I went out imaging, uh, this whole unit here, like, dewed up, frosted up, big time. And uh, and this is the first time I'm taking it out since I've uh, pulled it apart and cleaned it. So I'm hoping that um, the optics are still pretty good. Uh, I did clean them up nice and spotless again, but it's the uh, whole uh, calibration of, of everything. So um, I didn't really touch any of that, uh, but let's hope that um, it's all good. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Um, Tonight I plan on uh, just adding some more data to uh, a couple of my images I've got. Um, I'd like to add some more 300 second uh, exposures to one of them um, and then some shorter exposures to a, uh, another target. Um, I am shooting around the Antares um, area. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a colourful, bright area that I'm sure you guys uh, absolutely love imaging yourself. I know I do, along with um, obviously Orion and all that, and then uh, you know the uh, LMC and uh, Ida Car as well. Uh, some of my favourite targets and the Seven Sisters. <laughs> There's a few few targets out there. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's the plan for tonight. But um, what I want to talk a little bit about is what I've been um, experiencing myself in terms of guiding again, because I haven't. Um, guided in such a long long time that i've forgotten a few little you know tricks to uh to it all so um the guiding is getting a heck of a lot better uh i do love the whole um 80 mil 600 mil focal length um celestron guide scope as my uh as my guider now um the stars are a lot brighter uh, i don't have to um turn the gain of the uh camera up as much and yeah, it's, it's just a, a lot easier to find a better star to, uh, to guide with. Um, my personal uh, opinion and preference is there. I know a lot of people use the uh, shorter focal length um, lenses and it's, um, lenses, <laughs> and it's work, uh, scopes and it uh, works for them. But, um, you know, this, this is what's uh, working for me and I absolutely uh, I love it there. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, the other thing I want to uh, talk about too is balancing. Um, one of the uh, the key things that uh, if you're new to um, astrophotography is balancing your setup. However, one of the little tips of um, tips or tricks or whatever you want to call it when it comes to um, a mount like this and and guiding and everything is it pays to. Um, uh, off center the balance just that little bit um a bit more so add a bit more weight to one side so that way the gears uh, always mesh together um which will make your uh, guiding accuracy a lot better but don't do it don't um counterbalance it to one side too much otherwise you're going to be putting stress on your um on your motors and you don't want to be doing that so you've got to find that happy medium spot and once you've found that maybe put a couple of marks on the um, uh, near your counterweights. So you've got a bit of an idea on um, where you want to put your weights. It makes it, uh, setting up a little bit uh, quicker too. So uh, that's what I've, um, I used to do in the past and I completely forgot about it. And then uh, it only came to me the last time I was imaging. And the moment I just off-centered the balance just slightly, not much, but just slightly, um, those 300 second exposures were, uh, were beautiful. So, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much uh, it at the moment. So I'm just going to wait for it to get a little bit darker. Then I'm going to start my, uh, polar alignment, but, um, until then I'm just going to, uh, enjoy the view. So, uh, yeah, report back to you guys later.
guys, just reporting back on uh, how tonight's imaging session uh, has been going. Um, really good. The slight candlelight balance has uh, made a big difference on that um, that guiding. No issues at all um, whatsoever there now. So that's all good. I've uh, managed to capture uh, uh, a bit of data for two other images um, uh, that I've already captured, uh, mostly just uh, 300 second exposures. So just adding on just a little bit more. Um, as well as uh, another image I'm starting to um, capture uh, data for as well. So uh, I'm getting, um, uh, I've been getting a fair bit of, uh, fair few images tonight. So it's been, uh, been a pretty good session. Um, the wind is starting to pick up now. So uh, I'm going to uh, pretty much cool it and I and uh, start packing up as I've got a little bit of a drive um, to head home as well. And I'm getting a little bit tired. So um, yeah, it's always best not to uh, not to drive on the roads late at night when you're tired. Um, yeah, it's something I uh, I stick by a fair bit. So uh, yeah, and uh, and and it's getting cold. <laughs> well, guys, um, yeah, that's it for tonight. So uh, yeah, if you guys have uh, enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you got any questions, don't forget to uh, ask. And uh, if you're new to uh, my videos and my channel. Um, please give us a big subscribe, you know, where every subscribe means uh, so much to me. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And uh, until next time, keep warm. See ya.